Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. China has said it does not want a trade war, but is absolutely not afraid of one, as it responds to tariffs announced by US President Donald Trump. The tariffs on up to $60 BN of Chinese products were announced on Thursday and are a response to allegations of intellectual property theft by China. Beijing said it firmly opposed the new tariffs and that the US had set a very bad precedent with its move. The US tariffs were not conducive to global interests, China said. In a statement issued on Friday, China's Ministry of Commerce also said it was confident and capable of meeting any challenge. Trump, tariffs on $60 BN in Chinese goods US exempts EU from steel tariffs reality check, is Trump right about US trade deficit? Trump slaps big tariffs on metal imports China will not sit idly by its own legitimate rights and interests. We are fully prepared to defend our legitimate interests, the ministry said. But it said it hoped the US would not drag bilateral economic and trade relations into danger. Markets in Asia tumbled on Friday as fears of a trade war escalated. Japan's Nikkei 225 closed down 4.5% at 20,617.86 points, Sydney's S&P slash ASX 200 lost 2% to finish at 5,820.7, while China's markets were all in negative territory in afternoon trade. China is a huge consumer of pork and pork products Earlier on Friday, China announced its own raft of proposed tariffs worth $3 BN Beijing said these were in response to US tariffs on steel and aluminium imports announced by Mr. Trump earlier this month. The US tariffs on steel and aluminium imports come into effect this week. Mr. Trump has said these are needed to tackle unfair trade imbalances. But China, which is the 11th biggest exporter of steel to the US, said it was considering measures to balance out the losses caused to Chinese interests. The Commerce Ministry said the list of products under consideration for its own tariffs includes pork, wine, fruit, and nuts and stainless steel pipes. It said it was planning two steps of retaliatory action, a 15% tariff on 120 goods worth almost $1 BN, including fresh fruit, nuts, and wine a 25% tariff on 8 goods worth nearly $2 BN, including pork and aluminium scrap. Why is the US taking tariff action? The US imports billions more goods from China each year than it exports, creating a deficit of about $375 BN last year, which is what Mr. Trump has railed against. The president said on Thursday that he has asked China to cut that deficit by $100 BN immediately. But the new US tariffs follow an investigation into Chinese policies ordered by Mr. Trump in August. The White House said this found a range of unfair practices in China, including restrictions on foreign ownership that pressured foreign companies into transferring technology. The review also found evidence that China imposes unfair terms on U.S. companies, steers investments in the U.S. to strategic industries, and conducts and supports cyber attacks. The White House said it had a list of more than 1,000 products that could be targeted by tariffs of 25%. Businesses will have the opportunity to comment before the final list goes into effect. Trump, political heir to Abe Lincoln? The problem facing Trump's China probe EU and six other countries exempted from US metals tariffs The US is also exploring ways to limit Chinese investment in the US and will seek to bring complaints about unfair licensing terms to the World Trade Organization, officials said. America's top trade negotiator Robert Lighthizer said protecting US technology was critical to America's economic future. Who are the potential losers in a trade war? U.S. officials had acknowledged the possibility of retaliation from China, but said the Asian giant ultimately had more to lose. If imposed as described, the U.S. tariffs could lead to higher costs for consumers, while China's retaliation would hit key sectors of the U.S. economy including agriculture and aerospace, Anna.